Hey babes, it's Tap the Lazy Planner Addict and I'm so excited because today I'm gonna to be showing you the new Erin Condren Life Planner and accessories. Thank you so much to Erin Condren for gifting these items to me. And if you wanna pick any of them up, they'll be available on erincondren.com on the 29th of April. But if you're an Erin Condren insider, you actually get early access on the 27th of April. So keep an eye on your email on that day for that link for early access. If you're not already an Erin Condren insider, I do also have a link in the description description box down below where you can sign up as well as get $10 off your first purchase. Now, if you can't wait until then, I want to let you know that on a Friday, April 24th at 3 p.m. Pacific, I'm going to be doing a live stream. I've never done something quite like this before, but basically it's going to be a time for us to hang out and geek out about the new Erin Condren planner and accessories. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, I can show you different parts of the planner or answer them to the best of my ability. And basically I just want to hang out and have fun. So please come because I'm a little nervous and I really want to make it a success. And I think it is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. So let's go ahead and get into the goodies. And then after that, I'm going to come back. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the other items that are releasing as part of the collection, as well as some new information that I have about the Daily Life Planner Duo. Starting with the planner itself, this is the box that it comes in. It's constructed the way that the boxes were last year, but it looks like they've changed it to mid-century circles, whereas last year it was kaleidoscope to match the theme. It says Erin Condren there, and then you just slide it out. And these are meant to sit on your shelf so that you can store the planners in these, maybe your old planner or something like that. And I think they mean that you can get, you know, a bunch of them, but I just have the ones that comes with the planners. So the planner itself, it looks like it still comes with that snap in ruler bookmark thingy. I am snap in anything challenged. So I usually just end up pulling these off. I'm glad that they switched it to a more flexible material because I have like five bookmarks floating around before when they were harder with little teeth ripped off. But um, there that is, it looks like they just have their little like asterisk flower. So that's not anything specifically related to layers or to flower power. I'm guessing they did it this way because they didn't want to have to have two different bookmarks. They just wanted one for the two themes. And then here is what the planner itself looks like. So as you can see, I got the neutral layers cover and I just had it customized with my name. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but that is not metallic. That looks like it's just a very dark gray. I did get the rose gold coil. I've had mixed results with this. Some years it ends up holding up wonderfully and some years it ends up getting tarnished. So I'm interested to see what's gonna happen this year. Here is what the top looks like. Here is what the tabs look like and then the bottom. So let's go ahead and open it. And actually, before we go into the planner, let's take a look at this little goodie bag. The planners always come with a little goodie bag and previously they had also a little clear pouch that you could put in the back to carry things in. I never really used mine because I didn't like that it caused bumps, but if you carry your planner around, that can be a really awesome addition. And I know some people are bummed that they don't include them anymore. For me, it doesn't really make a difference either way. So here are the goodies. It looks like we have a circle sticker. We have a couple of layers compliments cards. You lift me up, your potential is endless, and I'm so proud of you. And then you can write a little note on the back. We have a little note. Um, oh, this is a label it looks like. A little something from, oh, gift labels, duh. We've gotten this gift label before, but I think this one with the mid-century circles is new. This is a little card. I'm not gonna turn it over because it has a couple of 20% off coupon codes on the back. And since it only has two codes, I don't really think it's fair to show it and for only two of you to get 20% off. So I'm not gonna do that. And then this card just goes over what is in the pouch. So if you wanna read it, go ahead and pause. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is inside the planner. And we've seen pictures of a lot of this already, but I'm still gonna go through everything because I want to make sure that I'm being as thorough as possible. So starting with the inside of the cover, please excuse the glare. 
This is laminated as usual, and it looks like this is lined. So you can use this as a wet erase dashboard where you can write things on it. I'll often put sticky notes on the dashboard as well. If I have a long list, books I need to read, videos I need to watch, YouTube video ideas, whatever it is. So if I don't have that dry erase or wet erase marker handy, sticky notes are really great here. Now, as I'm looking at this, it's looking like these each are dotted lines. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a little bit of variability in either how dark or how big they are. So that's kind of interesting. It didn't catch my notice right away, but uh, there it is. And then on this side, we have the vellum. There's almost always a vellum layer here. It is just really beautiful, again, with the neutral layers theme. And then under that, we have the title page. So Life Planner vertical layout, this is my life. They have removed the little on the go thing that I think was up here. I know I have bellyached about that little thing, the little on the go thing so many times. And then I had someone in the comments, either last video or the video before saying, well, I actually do take my Life Planner on the go. So for me, it's accurate. So I feel like I can't complain about the old planner saying on the go anymore. But one thing I really do love is Life Planner itself has the neutral colors incorporated in it. I don't remember off the top of my head if that is new or not, but I think that is just so beautiful, especially when you have the vellum sheet over it. It just makes this title page look so nice. And then of course you can write uh, your name and your phone number or like whatever you want right here. And um, that way if you, know, you lose it, someone can bring it back to you. So we're gonna move on to the quotes pages themselves. And again, we have seen pictures of this already, both for the neutral as well as the colorful. So the quote is, have enough courage to start and enough heart to finish. And I, I am falling more in love with layers the more and more I see it. I am just so, so happy that this is this year's theme. And I'm really excited to having, have it sit on my desk all year. And then it looks like we go into the calendar and it looks like so far the planner is pretty much the same format as previous years. Of course, we do have some changes. For instance, um, we have the theme in these strips up here. So it would be pretty easy to cover up with a sticker if you wanted to. And we have all of the months here. Again, pretty standard. I feel like there isn't too much to talk about on these pages. Same with this page, though now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if the neutral had lined little boxes here last year or if they were solid. I, again, I don't tend to use this page so much, so I don't necessarily remember it year to year. I also had the colorful last year, so there are always gonna be a few differences between the neutral and the colorful. For some reason, I thought when we saw the preview images, it had the same border on this page. I could be wrong, or maybe that's how the colorful is set up and not the neutral, but that is something interesting to point out, and I know in previous years they've had the same border on them. So we have 12 boxes here, and the neutral is really big on dotted outlines instead of solid outlines. Now, my personal preference, if I was the one who got to choose, would instead of the dotted outlines, I would prefer kind of a light to middle gray outline. I feel like that would give you the nice outline while still being pretty darn neutral. For some reason, the dots, I won't go so far as to say they bug me, but they are not my favorite. So um, I, I keep telling myself I'm gonna use these pages and then I often don't end up using them. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them this year, but I will let you know. And then from here, we go into the actual bulk of the planner with a notes page here and starting July. I'm not gonna flip through page by page for the whole thing, but I will do that for July and then maybe a couple other months so you can see what's going on. So we do start with our quote page here. And then I'm not sure if you can see, but it does have the Erin Condren logo right here in kind of a mid gray color that's kind of hard to see. 
And then we go into the monthly layout. And something I'm super excited for is the tab is back on the monthly spread page. Last year we had the dashboard for the month that was actually on the tab. And then you had to flip the page to get to the monthly spread. And that just made it kind of annoying and not annoying, but it made it harder to flip to the monthly spreads. Whereas this year, because it's back to being on that tab, it just makes it super easy. For me, I usually use the snap-in bookmarks a ton anyway, so it's not gonna be a huge improvement, but if you aren't a huge snap-in bookmark person, then I can see how this would be absolutely amazing. Looking at the actual layout, because this is neutral, we don't really have anything going up on up at top. We just have the month and the year, and then we go into the calendar dates. It looks like it has uh, just Independence Day marked here. That, of course, is a U.S. holiday. Erin Condren is based in the U.S., so I'm guessing if you're living somewhere else, you'll just white it out or something like that. And all of these lines are also those dotted lines that we talked about earlier, as well as all of these lines in the notes column. Now, I did not use the neutral last year and I didn't use this page too much in my colorful life planner but from what I can tell I don't believe the sizes have changed very much if at all and because we don't have any sort of a thing up here that actually gives a lot of flexibility if you're using the neutral as far as using you know stickers and whatnot because you don't have to worry about the sticker being big enough to cover up the pattern. You really just have to worry about it covering this up or leaving that part blank specifically. Now, one thing that has always been, I don't know, I, I won't say it's bugged me because it hasn't, but on the monthly page, the week starts with Sunday and then on the weekly page, the day starts with Monday. There's just something about that that just kind of bugs me. I thought I'd point it out. <laughs> so here is the dashboard page. And so this is what changed places with the monthly calendar page. So here we have a notes page and the notes pages this year definitely have more writable space. If I remember correctly, last year, the neutral did have more usable space, but the pictures that they showed this year seem to show that the colorful also has a lot of usable space this year too, which is really cool. And these lines, by the way, are not dotted lines. They do look like they are solid. On this side, you have the same boxes that we were looking at last year. So pretty much the same thing. I'm not sure if we had that line there last year, but other than that, I don't think this particular page has changed much except for, you know, the theme and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and it looks like these are solid lines as well, but all of the other lines are dotted lines. And then we're gonna go ahead and go into the weekly spread. Now, as you can see, I did get the vertical layout. I've gotten the vertical layout every year and I'm just a vertical layout girl. So um, the neutral and, not the neutral, the horizontal and the hourly and the daily, of course, are gonna be a little bit different. And I'll discuss all the permutations you can get the planner in at the end of this video. But it doesn't look like any of the sizes have changed. So if you are a sticker planner like I am and you have sticker kits, it looks like the stickers should still fit in this without a problem. Now, one thing I did notice when I was doing my pre-analyses is that some of the bottom boxes have changed a little bit, not in the width, but in the height. And this was a new addition last year. Previously, the boxes or stopped and then we had either lined or white space down here. And then last year they added these bottom boxes. And I believe they made the boxes, I forget if it was bigger or smaller, but I'm pretty sure they changed at least a little bit. And I'm blanking on exactly what changed. I know that the width didn't change and that's what's important if you sticker plan and you use kits because uh, with like the full boxes and stuff like that, you can play around with the spacing vertically, but you know, if everything is kind of off in the column, then it starts looking weird. I wanna jump back over here now. Last year we had a little shape here 
that had the month and then we had the calendar down here and the calendar has moved back up here and we don't have anything down here. We just have this line and it looks like those are solid lines and not dotted lines. These are dotted lines. These and these are all dotted lines. So we do have a mixture of solid and dotted lines here. I personally was not a huge fan of that shape thing because it was a pain in the butt to cover up. And I do have a sticker shop on Etsy. I actually have a link down below with a coupon code for 20% off. And I actually had to change my kits to accommodate that, I think it was a hexagon. So I'm really happy that this is changing back. It's looking like a standard full box sticker, which is one and a half inches wide, will fit over there if that's something you'd like to cover up. And if you don't wanna cover up, it is still fairly neutral, so it should go with whatever spread you're using. Again, the colorful is going to be less neutral, but that's kind of the whole point of the colorful. Uh, and then it looks like the planner itself starts on the 29th of June because Monday, the 1st of July is um, a Wednesday. And so I did get the July to June version of this planner. They also have a December, or sorry, a January to December version as well as an 18 month version, which is July to December of the next year. Because I get new planners right when they release, I've just found that the July to June layout tends to work the best for me. The 18 month is thicker. And so that's really good if you need to plan ahead, you know, for those six months before you get your new planner, or if you are on the July to June planner cycle and want to change to a calendar year cycle. So as we flip through this, these pages in July are pretty much going to all look the same except for the headers. And because I chose the neutral layout this year, we don't even have the different colors for the months. If you're not familiar with the colorful version, each month has a different color. And so the headers up here are a different color. And then I also believe there is a header here and here that is that color and I think the bottom boxes are also that particular color and the tabs are that color and usually the quotes page which which is right here is that color as well so since we've you know seen what all of these look like what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to flip to each of the tabs so that you can see what all of the quotes are and if you need to pause it feel free to do so. I'm not gonna read all of them because honestly, I have been talking all day and I do not trust my ability to read fluently right now without making a ton of mistakes. And while I'm sure that would be funny, um, I'm not gonna put myself through that. So um, I am just going to flip through them and you can read them yourself. And I like the light gray of these tabs. I'm pretty sure last year they were a little bit darker gray. The first year when they introduced the neutral, which I think was three years ago, if I remember correctly, they had black tabs and then they went to a dark gray. And then they basically, they've just been getting lighter every year. And I personally like the lighter gray because it is still visible but it is lower profile. And because I do sticker plan, it allows me to, um, for the tabs not to really clash with the stickers that I'm putting in and for them also not to take center stage above the stickers, if that makes sense. So we are at the back and we have the notes section. So we've had notes sections in the planners for a while. One of my personal things that I've been saying for a long time is that I would like more note pages and there actually are some changes this year. Alas, the big change is not that there are more notes pages, it is that we do not have the dot grid pages and we do not have the coloring pages this year. Now, I personally never really used the coloring pages, so it doesn't really matter to me. And I would actually prefer, I think we get like two extra note pages because of that. 
but if you are a coloring person, that could be a real bummer to you. So do keep that in mind. I do actually really love dot grid though, so I will miss the dot grid pages. It looks like these lines here are solid. They are not the dotted lines, and we also don't have any decorations around the top. They are just plain notes pages, and we also don't have the little header area that we do at the beginning of each month. I'm not sure if that's showing up on camera. Hopefully you can see that. So we have that little header area outlined. On these note pages, we do not have that area. But other than that, and the spacing at the top because of the header, it looks like these are pretty much exactly the same. Not that you can do too much differently with a notes page, but it looks like there isn't any difference that we would need to point out. And by the way, I haven't really addressed the paper itself. And the reason for that is I don't really feel any drastic changes. It, it, I feel like it's the same paper that we've had before. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a pen test. I already know this video is going to take five ever, so I'm not gonna do it in this video. But if there are enough people that are interested, I'll do that. Next, we have our contacts page. And this is another page that I don't tend to use, but I have heard of some people that like to use this to keep their passwords, which is a really cool idea if you're gonna be writing down your passwords. Some people also do keep you know, phone numbers, emails, whatever it is in here. I tend to keep my passwords and my contacts digitally since while I do love my life planner, I actually have kind of a hybrid system where I use Google Calendar to plan ahead of time and I use my life planner to plan just the week that's coming up and sort of as a pretty to-do list. So I don't tend to use this page um, but I don't really think anything has changed here versus last year. It's functionally the same. And I think it's even said, let's keep in touch in previous years, but it does have a nice little tab on it that says contact. So if this is a page that you do use, it is very easy to find. And if you don't use it, this makes it really easy to flip to the back of the book where you can see 2022 at a glance. And again, I don't think there are any really big changes that I can think of off the top of my head. This side of the tab does say 2022. So we have each of the months and then we have a few little bullet points where you can write down things that are happening that month and you can make notes down here. And then referring back to this page makes it really easy to transition into your new planner. When you do get the new planner, you know, you can copy all those dates in and things like that. And you don't have to go to a million different places to find all of the info. And it looks like we are at the back of the, I guess the planner proper, but we still have our sticker pages. And as usual, these are foiled stickers. And as you can see, when they're printed, they're printed over the, um, the line. And this is called Kiss Cut Stickers the bit that's over is called bleeds. And so they do that because if you don't, then if the sticker cuts a little off, you'll have a white border around the stickers. But these, uh, I, I've mentioned this before, I tend to like more muted colors. So these are just absolutely gorgeous to me. Looks like this page has gold foil and I love how these little flags have the layers going through them. And then it looks like this page has rose gold foil. And so we have a ton of habit trackers we have today, this week, rescheduled, canceled, and a bunch of these little dots. You could use these as decoration to draw attention to something. That's probably the big things that I would use them for. Next, we have some birthday stickers as well as some little, you could use them as appointment boxes or to put important to do's or, you know, different things that you're looking at um, marking in your planner. And these don't look like much on camera, but these are, you can use them for appointments or whatever you want. They're just little stickers and it looks like the foil on these is silver, so you get Five colors, gray, blue, teal, peach, and purple. And I'm not sure if I can get this back in properly so it looks all pretty. <laughs> Whoops, but that's okay. I mean, you're, you're worth it. 
for pulling this sticker up. Oh, YouTube is worth one damn sticker. That, that's all I give you, one sticker, one sticker. <laughs> Um, these stickers and some of the other stickers that are back here um, are pretty standard, at least in some sort of permutation every year. I'm pretty sure we always get some birthday stickers. Uh, we always get something in like the today to do rescheduled thing. And I think we always get something like this. So none of these stickers are hugely groundbreaking, but it is nice to have them. And I like that because the colors match, you don't have to worry about, you know, making sure everything matches correctly. Not that that's usually a huge deal. And the colorful version of the planner, by the way, has more colorful stickers. So this is the neutral stickers and the colorful has the more colorful stickers. All right, then we come to the back pocket. And it looks like this is the same designed pocket that we've had previous years, except it is layers. You'll notice that the layers design is brighter on this front flap versus this back flap, which is an interesting detail. It definitely makes the pocket stand out. Not that it you know, would really matter once you put something in it, but nice little detail there that I like. This side of the pocket is not glued down. So I actually like it when that side of the pocket is down because it keeps things in here a lot more easily. However, it gives a little bit less flexibility with the size of items you're putting in there. Because of that little gap there, you can actually put larger objects in here because that side of the flap is not glued or attached down. I believe in past years, they've had some where this side of the flap is actually coiled into the planner. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they did it like this last year as well. I don't tend to put a ton in these again. Mostly my planner sits on my desk, so I don't tend to use the pockets and stuff like that because whatever I would put in the pockets, I'll just sit on my desk. And this pocket, this is new. So in the past, we've had this big pocket on this side, and then on the back, we've had a smaller pocket. And so it looks like they have the big pocket on both sides, and here, this one is glued down. So that is an interesting addition. So you can put bigger things in here, and things will stay in this pocket a little bit more easily. And of course, in the pocket already is the perpetual calendar. One of these comes with every life planner, and I have about five sitting in my drawer that I haven't used because I just don't tend to use these. But these are great if you want to keep track of birthdays or different things, anniversaries that come around every year and you don't want to keep putting them in your planner every single time. You use one perpetual calendar and then you just move it to every planner. And this is, of course, a peach with a gold foil on it. So here is what it looks like. Oh, it looks like it also has contacts and there is a page for every month and then you have the days of the month going down the side so you can just mark whatever you need to in that particular date and then move it along and then if the month is not 31 days you have the little asterisk at the bottom and you could use that area for notes or something if you wanted and here we have the important contacts so this side is name, phone, email, and then this one is website username, password. So this one actually is set up specifically for keeping your passwords uh, in order as well as being you know, your own personal contact list. And then back here we have holidays and dates so you can refer back to this. And this would be a really cool thing to use to mark any of these in your planner um, if any okay so they put a lot of dates in the planners already both in the monthly and the weekly spreads but it's possible that some of these dates are not in the main planner so you could always double check that is what I'm trying to say and um, put any dates in there that 
you actually care about. And then lastly, we have the back cover. Just like the front cover, this is laminated, so you can write on it with wet or dry erase markers. Wet erase markers would probably be better for this because you wouldn't have to worry about things smearing, but in a pinch, dry erase markers will do. This side is not lined, whereas the front was lined. So you can see there is a difference there with the front and the back. And then we are to the back of the planner, which we have already looked at. So that is the entire life planner for this year. And I think it's time to move on to the accessories. I'm just gonna bring the accessories out in no particular order. So I'm gonna start with these sticker sheets. And these look very similar, if not identical, to the ones that we had in the back of the planner. Of course, I had to put the planner down away from me in order to have room, so I can't double check. But let's see, because it looks like this is more than one sheet of stickers. So we have this sheet. Oh, I think I had it upside down. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like this is the same set of stickers. So I guess you can buy these stickers separately if you you know, bought the neutral planner and you want the colorful stickers or vice versa. That is a really nice touch. Very pretty. We've already really gone over these, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. Next, I have this little washi tape duo. They do come saran wrapped, uh, but I took that off to make it easier to film. So it looks like we have the layers in both the colorful and the neutral. And let's just pull this over here so that I can take a look at what they look like actually down on a piece of paper. Oh my goodness. My nails are, they're fake nails and they're not glued on. It's like the adhesive stuff that it comes with. Usually the adhesive with um, these nails is pretty good, but it doesn't necessarily want to stay down. So that is what the colorful one looks like. And then let's take a look at the neutral. And again, these do come as a duo. So if you buy these, you have to buy them together. Um, I don't think they're that expensive and they are very pretty. I think especially if you have the colorful planner because it does have more of the layers theme going throughout, this would be a wonderful addition to the um, planner so that you can decorate more with layers. But I mean, this is gorgeous. Now, one change to this duo from last year is that in previous years, they have had their paper tape or washi tape. Well, they've called it paper tape. And this year they're specifically calling it washi tape. But previously it has not had that see-through quality that washi tape typically has. And so that's probably why they've made the difference or the change in the name. But washi is a type of paper in, that is a Japanese type of paper. So, I mean, paper tape and washi tape effectively mean the same thing when you look at the root of the actual word. But I can see how they would want to distinguish that way they didn't have people that ordered it and got something they didn't expect. Next up, we have this monthly planner that they sent me. This is the petite planner size. So this is great if you wanna put it in a purse or something like that. And if you have the petite planner folio, I think is what it call, it's called, um, this will fit in there with other petite planners. And what I think is really cool about this is if you are a monthly planner, it just has the months. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing too fancy. The theme is mid-century circles instead of the layers from this year, but sometimes all you need is this. And you know, maybe you have a life planner that you keep on your desk, and then you have this that you carry around with you that you can put your appointments in and then transfer them to your life planner when you get home. There are so many different things that you could do with this. And I can see that for certain people with certain planning styles, this could be either a great addition or alternative to the uh, life planner. And it looks like this is an 18 month. So it goes until December, 2021. And we do have all the colors here with every month. And then back here, we have a chunky amount of dot grid pages. So there is a lot of room for notes here. Again, great for carrying around, 
because you not only have your calendar, but you have like half the book is room for notes, which is pretty cool. And then we have a quote here, and this comes with a sheet of stickers. The top half-ish is all sorts of icons. And then we have some little flags as well as some celebrate and happy birthdays. And I'm guessing these are sized to fit in the little boxes. Yes, they are. So that's nice that they include this and it's already pre-sized and you don't have to worry about things fitting or not fitting or any of that jazz. Next, they sent me this clip-in dashboard. It actually goes this way. Let me push this all off to the side. So the clip-in dashboards are something that they release every year. This of course has the colorful layers theme and there are a few different permutations of how these work, but this one has gold foil and then it has a space for priorities and to do on this side. And then on this side, you can write down items for the week. And this is great if you have things that have to happen on every Monday and you don't necessarily want to have to transfer it into your weekly spread every single week. And by the way, these also fit in the binder version of the life planner. So if you have the binder, you can still get these clip in dashboards as well as some of the other clip in accessories. Well, this is kind of cool. And next we have this absolutely beautiful sticker book and they release a sticker book every single year. Um, this year they actually have two sticker books because we have one for layers and we have one for flower power, but they only sent me the one for layers for preview. So I'll just go ahead and flip through all of these stickers. It looks like this page is gold foil. This page appears to be rose gold foil. I'm going to say the color of the foil because sometimes you can't tell on camera. This one is silver foil. And let's see, it looks like there is a white outline around each of the asterisks. This page is gold foil. That's so cute, the little love stickers. Oh, love it. And then these back ones, or at least this page. Oh yeah, so this couple pages, these are see-through stickers. So, can you see that? They're kind of see-through-y. So you could put something under them. You could either layer stickers or you could put them over something else if you want. That's really cute. And the foil on this page is gold. This page is back to the normal stickers and the foil on this page is silver. We have the see-through stickers again. And by the way, I can easily tell because they have a different finish on the page. So it's very obvious. And this foil is gold. This is rose gold foil. And so we have these little weekend stickers and some vacation and fun stickers there. Another silver foil sheet of stickers. This one is gold. Oh, I love the little hearts, that's so cute. And this one, this one is rose gold foil. And it looks like these are all different sizes. You could use these if you needed to mark that you're going away for a few days or an event that's lasting a few days would be really good. Or you could just use it to decorate your monthly pages or something like that. This one is silver foil. We have some full boxes. And that is the end of the sticker book. So moving right along, I know I mentioned snap in bookmarks earlier. I did take these out of the package because I did want to be able to, you know, get through this video in a semi timely manner since I knew it was going to be a long one anyway. So these bookmarks are the layers theme. We have this one that's kind of like a greeny blue. This one's a blue. And then this one's kind of like a pink and a peach. Um, so we have those three. This is what they look like on the back. These are not foiled. And prior to this, prior to last year, I think they were foiled, but last year they started not being foiled. And uh, this year they're not foiled. I mean, it's nice to have foiled things, but it's not required. And these are just super functional and very cute. And I like that they have some color in them. They're not so bright that they would feel weird in the neutral layout, but they're not so neutral that they would feel weird in the colorful layout. And I'm guessing they also have these in flower power, 
but uh, because I got the layers version, I'm guessing that's why they sent me all of the layers accessories. Three more to go, guys. Here we have the neutral layers planning pack, and it would actually go like this on your actual planner. So that's why the layers are this way, because you can use this to hook it onto your planner. Let's pretend that this is my planner. You hook it on like that, and then you can have a little pouch with you. And you can put pens in here, you can put stickers in here, you could put paper clips in there, whatever you wanna put in there. And it also has a little pouch in the back, and it feels like this pouch is lined with felt. The rest of it, I'm assuming it's faux leather and not real leather. And then the band itself is a sparkly silver with silver hardware with the zip, as well as a silver Aaron Condren zipper pull right there. Next, we have some sticky notes. I always get these sticky notes, so I was really excited that they sent them to me. I just love sticky notes, and as you can see, you can clip these in to your planner. I tried clipping these in ones, and I just never ended up using them. Again, I typically use my planner on my desk, and so um, it just makes more sense for me to keep the sticky notes either in a drawer or next to the planner or whatever it is. So it looks like we have a few different designs. They're, they're sticky notes. I mean, what can I say about the stickiness? So we have this square one, a rectangle, another rectangle, circle, square, square, and I mean, these are square-ish. We have this little flag one, and then we have a lined one for lists. So pretty functional. Again, this is pretty much the same as what they've done last year, just with the new layers theme. And again, oh, this is actually two triangle ones. I didn't notice that. But what I was gonna say is again, we have some colorful stuff here, but it's not so bright that you couldn't use it in the neutral layers. So that's kind of interesting. They have the bright or the colorful and they have the neutral layers, but they almost kind of have a middle ground for the accessories so that they look right with both the colorful and the neutral. So that is really interesting. And you can see they also have a little tab here. So if you do decide to clip it into your planner, you uh, have the little tab so you can easily flip and find it. Next, I have some little compliment cards, and this is separate from the ones that came in the little pack in the planner. So we have love yourself, you are enough, let your dreams take flight, you lift me up, it's your time to bloom, I'm so proud of you, you've got this, I have no idea how much this is actually showing up, set goals and crush them, one day at a time, and your potential is endless. And then here is the little info card about compliment cards. So again, if you want to read this, go ahead and pause the video now. All right, so lastly, we have this set. And this is an interchangeable pen kit, which is just so cool. If you got the spring surprise box, you kind of got a mini version of this. And I am really excited to play around with this more. If you'd like to see a video going over this interchangeable pen set in a little bit more detail, please do let me know. I'd be happy to do a dedicated video about really anything, but I feel like this is one of the items that has a little bit more that you can go into. So it includes four highlighters, four medium tip, three fine tip, and two barrels. And then here we have all the colors and the how to use directions. So let's go ahead and open it up. I actually already opened it up and took a look. And the reason why I'm pointing that out specifically is because the barrels actually came at the very bottom, but they are a pain in the butt to get out because they are so snug. And for video purposes, I didn't want to have them at the bottom. So um, I put them at the top so we could look at them easily. So here we go. Here are all the pen tips. So you can tell which ones are which because we have the fine tips. Hopefully you can see this. The fine tip, I mean, that's pretty fine. And then I was worried about telling the medium tip and the highlighter apart, but when you take the caps off, or even with the caps on, you'll see that the highlighter has the square tip and the medium tip has the rounded tip. So that makes it really easy to tell what is what. 
Now, this could be awesome for a lot of different people. I wish I had this when I was in college because that would have been absolutely amazing. This could also be good for someone who wants to plan on the go and likes to use colorful pens. Oh, it doesn't snap, it circles. Oh my goodness, um, it screws in. And I like how they have so many different color options and two barrels. So you can make your own personalized pens and bring them with you uh, if you don't have a lot of space to carry things with you. And that's just so, 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 so cute. All right, let me see if I have paper. I can try these on. I'm just gonna try them on here. I know it's not ideal, but it is the closest thing I have. So that is that fine tip. And then here is the medium tip. Here is the gray medium tip the blue highlighter that is such a pretty blue i'm not a huge fan of neon so i love that highlighter i have a green kind of like i maybe call it a sea green it's a little bright for me to be mint this is a medium tip orange i'm running out of room guys let me take this i'll put it right here and then i can start again so it looks like this is a blue or a teal. Medium tip, Woo! oh my goodness. We have a fun tip purple that is so pretty. This it looks like is a pink highlighter. Oh, again, I love that it's like a peach pink instead of that bright neon pink. Again, I am not a neon person, so I love that. And we have a fine tipped pink, a green highlighter, that's not really a neon green, but it's still kind of bright. A yellow highlighter, that one is bright. I've seen brighter highlighters, but it still is bright. And then this is a pink medium tip. So if I can get this to go down, you can see what all of the colors look like. And then again, if you want a more in-depth video talking about this, I am happy to do that. And I think that is all the accessories that I have to show you today. I almost forgot to show you something. This is an absolutely beautiful pen and it comes in this really cute gift box. Now I can't decide if it is magnetic or if it just closes snugly. See, it has these little things here, but however it closes, it closes very well. And this is a much nicer, box than I thought it would be, to be honest. So this actually would make a very nice gift for someone. And the pen itself that is in here has the layers theme. Of course, it's gonna start cooler and work up to warmer. And then it also has gold as the accent with Erin Condren. It is, I believe, a twist pen. Yes, there we go. So it twists open and closed. And then let's go ahead and grab a sticky note so we can try it out. Writes pretty darn well. I mean, it's a pen, but it has like some heft in your hand. And I really like that with pens. I'm not a huge fan of the cheap plastic pens. I use them, don't get me wrong, but this feels like a nice pen to be holding. This doesn't feel like a cheap plastic pen. So this is just so gorgeous and I'm really excited to have this in my little pen holder on my desk. Now that we've had time to go through what Erin Condren sent me, I wanna take a couple minutes to go through the other Life Planner options because there are so many different combinations. And there are three big things you get to customize. First, you get to customize your binding. There's a coil, and if you do a coil, you get to choose the color, or you can do a binder. Next, you get to choose a theme. There's flower power, and there's also layers. And with layers, you get to choose a colorful or a neutral, whereas flower power is just colorful. And then you get to choose your layout. So the three classic layout options options are vertical, horizontal, and hourly. We also have the daily format, which we've been talking about a lot this year because they're doing something a little different. It was actually introduced as a binder daily format in the middle of last year. This year, they're doing it as a daily life planner duo and it's coiled. You can't get it in the binder this year and it is also only available in the layers colorful version. And that's actually where the new information comes in because I have some details on the ordering experience and I'm gonna refer to my computer for notes. So when you go to order your daily life planner duo, 
First off, you'll get to choose your calendar option. And so you either have the normal calendar year, which is January to December, or you can do July to June. So like a half year that happens to be the planner time calendar thing that I'm on, um, just because I like to use mine as soon as possible once I get the new ones, but everybody is a little bit different. You also get to choose your coil color, but it has to be the same coil color for both books. And then you also get to personalize one cover of your choice. The other Life Planner book in the Life Planner Daily Duo is going to come with a colorful layers cover. And then it looks like when you actually get your Daily Life Planner Duo, it is going to have a coupon where you can go back to Erin Condren and customize a second cover. So all in all, it comes with three covers, but the second one or the third one, the second customized one, you do have to go back and make another order, which may mean paying double shipping on that, just so you know. Of course, these covers are interchangeable, so you always can use old covers if you have extra old covers that are around. If any of that doesn't make sense, please let me know in the comments down below. I will answer all of your questions to the best of my ability. And if you would like to hang out and geek out about all of this stuff, remember to come to the live stream Friday, the 24th of April at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And also keep an eye on your email on the 27th of April if you're an Erin Condren insider and would like that early access. And I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all of your support and everything else. And I'll see you next time. Bye.